Hey guys. So let's state the obvious. My hair is significantly different. I am a redhead and I am loving it. Believe it or not, my hair has been dyed for two months now. I tried to go red about two months ago, but it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to come out, obviously looking at previous videos. My hair is more of like a amberish type of color. It still didn't come off on film. You can only see it pretty much in the daylight. So I decided to retry that again and this was the outcome. I'm so feeling it. I feel like my hair finally matches my personality. I'm vibrant. I'm fun. I'm goofy. I like to party. I'm starting new ventures in my life and it was just time for a change. I've had my hair dark my entire life and I just, it was boring. I need some fun and lively and it's fall so why not change your hair color to get it professionally done if I did it by myself I'd probably be bald right now crying in a corner and not knowing what to do with my life if you guys want to know the products that I use in my hair I will try to ask my hairdresser and see what she says so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my favorite fall lipsticks um, I have some drugstores and I also have some higher-end lipsticks so if you want to splurge you have that option but if you want to save some money you have that option as well but let's dig on in just going right in no particular order at all because that's more fun that way so the first one that I have here is Riri Woo and it's a retro matte by MAC I absolutely love this color oh my goodness it's just oh gosh I love this color it's just so pretty and I try to savor it like I try not to wear it as much because you know that when MAC lipsticks start to get flat it's about that time that it's going to run out. So I try to wear it only in case of emergencies, like I have nothing else to wear on my lips. You can't go wrong with a red lip any time of the season and I will be reaching for this, I already know, throughout the fall, like a couple thousand times. The next one I'm going to be talking to you is about Viva Glam 6 and this is a, it's a luster. Um, and the reason why I love this color is because, well, this lipstick period, is because you don't need a lip liner for it at all. Um, it goes on kind of like um, a lip gloss or like a chapstick, and it just gives you like a nice tint of color. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there next to Riri Woo. It's just a really gorgeous, like, oh, how do I describe this? Um, it's like... Auburn burgundy but it's light it just gives you a nice light um, color on your lips that way if you're going for a natural look you just throw that lip on and you won't look out of season it's just it's gorgeous and it gives you a nice little shine on it as well lusters are just really good lipsticks period for Mac um, I love the luster line because if you're new to lipstick and you're not really sure how you're gonna line your lips and all that jazz definitely just go for a luster that way it's just like putting on some chapstick or some tinted lip balm you, you, it doesn't look wrong period so it's just oh gosh I love this color it's just perfect for a, a throw on lip like a last minute lip I love it now I'm talking about another matte color and this is the color in Diva oh my gosh it's like this deep 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 red color and it is just oh my gosh goodness it's everything it's a matte lipstick not gonna get that shine it's very clean and very just mmm it's it's a very strong color which is why I love it and I feel like a diva honey when I'm wearing it okay or I do feel like a diva and like Beyonce be playing and I'll be like I had to throw that in diva is a nice rich deep wine type of lipstick it's just ugh it's everything. Everything and more. It just gives me life. The next lipstick I'm going to be talking about is Rebel and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. Oh my goodness. I just really like deep dark purple lips in the fall time and it, oh gosh it's just uh, I'm having like a moment here right now. It's just a gorgeous color um, and it's a satin so you're gonna get a little bit of sheen on your lips which you can't go wrong with. The lips just, you know, they just look luscious and delicious and scrumptious when you put this lipstick on. And I, hands down, love it. 
go to your nearest Mac store and go buy Rebel. Like seriously, just go buy Rebel because I'm telling you to go buy Rebel. It's worth the investment. Next lipstick I'm gonna talk about is again from Mac and it's called Girl About Town and it's a little bit brighter but I still love wearing it in the fall. It's, oh my goodness, let me tell you. It's kind of like the pop that you want to have in the fall time. Like when you just don't feel like blending in and you just want to go then definitely go for Girl About Town. It's a nice, rich, fuchsia type of pink. Um, and I've, I've worn it in a couple tutorials because this lipstick just is seriously just like, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's just, oh gosh, look at that color. It's so rich and creamy and it just makes your lips look just like mwah. You know what I mean? You know how your lips just like mwah and your boyfriend just wants to go mwah, but you like boo boo. I got lipstick home. No, no. Yeah, this is that lipstick. Um, <laughs> it's just, I just love it. It's just such a gorgeous, rich fuchsia pink color. And um, sometimes you just want to be different and stand out of the crowd. So this is the type of color that I want to go for when I just want to stand out and just do something different. So again, this is Girl About Town. Love it. It is just, that's all I'm going to say. Another higher end lipstick that I'm going to talk about is a Makeup Forever lipstick and this is in Rouge Artiste Intense. I've only worn this a couple times because I did get it a little bit late in the fall time last year. But it's like, oh, let me just tell you when I saw this color I instantaneously fell in love and it just so happened that that Sephora that I was buying it from was sold out and I hunted it down. I was like, I'm finding this lipstick if it kills me. I have to have it in my collection, hands down. It is just this beautiful purple, bluish type of just, ugh, color. And I am so, 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 so in love with it. And I cannot wait to bust it out again. It is just, just, let's just take a minute. <sighs> Moment of If you don't know any other color to get from Makeup Forever, please get this color. Again, it is Rouge Artiste Intense number 15. Go get it. You won't regret it. Like, you just won't. It, you just won't. Go get it, okay? So now going into some drug store type of lipsticks. The first one I'm going to talk to you about is Sonia Kashuk Violetta. It's like a mauve type of purple color. And it has a nice sheen to it. I have worn it in a tutorial before. If you're more of like a subtle type of person, I just want to add a little pop. This is definitely the type of color that you want to go for. And it is called Violetta. I absolutely love it. Sonia Kashuk, I was a little skeptical about her lipsticks because I was like, I don't know. They don't look, you know. But I'm definitely going to be buying some more because I am in love with her lipsticks. They're creamy, they're very moisturizing, and I... I just love them. I just love them. So the next lipstick I'm going to be talking to you is by Rimmel London and it's in the Kate Middleton um, line. This is called... What are you called? Mm. Rosetto 01 and it's, it's a red lipstick again. I love my red. So it looks like that. Sorry about the sloppy swatch. I am not left-handed. <laughs> but it's a nice beautiful red color so if you want some red lips and you're not wanting to splurge on any high ends definitely check out the Kate Middleton line she has beautiful colors and beautiful lipstick very creamy and moisturizing again and they have a nice little you know little shine to them so you're not looking all dry and like ashy lip it's a nice deep red it's not as bright let me see if I can show you it's not as bright as the Riri Woo, but it's not as dark as Diva, so it's kind of like in between. Um, it's a nice shade of red, so definitely something that I do like to wear. I don't wear it as often as I wear my other red lipsticks, but I still do grab for it um, just because of how moisturizing it is, and I don't really need a lip liner when I'm using it, which is another thing that I love, um, but yeah. So the next one I'm going to be talking to you about is a Milani lipstick and it is in Sangria which is a gorgeous gorgeous color. I've only worn this lipstick like once or twice. It looks like this. It's a really really beautiful deep wine type of color. It kind of reminds me of Rebel. They're pretty 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 close. Like I can say that it's pretty much a dupe for Rebel. Um, this is Milani Sangria and then this is Rebel. No this. This is Rebel by MAC. So they're pretty pretty close. Um, 
definitely would say it is a dupe. They both have a nice shine to them. They both have that wine type of color. So I think we got a dupe. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that is, again, Milani Sangria. It's a nice, gorgeous color. And might I add that Milani's lipsticks smell like Jolly Ranchers. I don't know what they put in it, but it smells so dang good. So the last lipstick that I want to talk to you guys about is another Milani, and it's called Uptown Mauve. Oh god, I don't know what they put in this, but it's so, it smells so freaking good. But yeah, this is what it looks like, it's Uptown Mauve. Again, it's like a nice little purple lipstick. I don't know if you guys can tell what's my favorite color for the fall, but uh, yeah. yeah. That is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of Girl About Town. It's a little bit darker, a little bit deeper of a fuchsia, but it still, it kind of still pops. You know what I'm saying? Like you still want to you're looking at drugstore lipsticks, I definitely would suggest the Milani line just because they have so many different colors that can appeal to you. They're just hands down amazing. So yeah, again, that is Uptown Mauve, yes. And it's just so gorgeous. Those are all my favorite fall time lipsticks. If you guys want any more fall time themed videos, please leave a comment down below stating which ones you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely be talking to you in my next video. Bye.